Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a system of equations. Now, if we had all plus signs, that would be a pretty standard equation like x plus y plus z, and then sum of squares and the sum of cubes. You've probably seen those problems, but this one is slightly different and it's more fun to solve. So, let's go ahead and start manipulating this equation. First of all, notice that we have the first powers, second powers, and the third powers. I'm going to start with the first equation, and then I'll isolate the x plus y. So let's start by writing x plus y is equal to z plus 7. And then, since I want to use the other equations, starting with the second one, I will square both sides. Let's go ahead and do that. I will square both sides. And that gives me x squared plus y squared plus 2xy equals z plus y squared, which is z squared plus 14z plus 49. Now, from the second equation, I do know that x squared plus y squared can be isolated and written as z squared plus 37. And then I would like to use this here on the left-hand side, right here. Okay, great. That wasn't my intention, but I, I ended up doing an arrow, which is fine. So now let's go ahead and replace x squared plus y squared with that. And that's going to give us z squared plus 37 plus 2xy equals z squared plus 14z plus 49. So this equation might look a little complicated, but don't worry about it. This will work. z squared cancels out. And now from here, my goal is to get xy in terms of z. So pretty much, we're writing everything in terms of z. That's the goal. So isolate 2xy, we get 14z plus 49 minus 37, that is going to be a 12. Divide both sides by two, xy equals seven z plus six. Great, so now I got xy in terms of z, great. Why do I need xy? Because notice that I have the sum of squares, I have the sum of cubes, I'm going to need the product xy. Sort of like a Vieta way, all right? So now let's work with the third equation. So what does the third equation give us? We have x cubed plus y cubed minus z cubed equals 1. I'd like to isolate, like before, the sum of x cubed plus y cubed. And that is going to become z cubed plus 1. Now, I have x plus y in terms of z right here. As you can see, I didn't write it, but you know x plus y is equal to z plus 7. So I could go ahead and use this. Let's go ahead and copy that here. I have x plus y is equal to z plus 7. So I kind of have like a kind of like a system of equations, but there are three variables, but don't worry about it because we're going to be simplifying everything at the end. Now, how do, and of course I also have the x, y. So that's kind of like a, I should say, maybe a system of equations with three variables, not two. Well, three equations, I should say. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. I have three equations and three variables, so this should work fine. Now, what can I do with the x plus y and the x, y? If you think about x plus y quantity cube, this is an identity that I always use, but let me go ahead and explain that real quick. If you start off with x plus y and cube it, you get x cubed plus 3x squared y plus 3xy squared plus y cubed. Now, this is from binomial theorem, but I would like to write it in a nicer way. So... I want to write, put these two together, the, the cubes. And then I would like to separate these two, the two terms in the middle. And I also want to factor the 3xy, which is the greatest common factor, and write it like this. So from here, my goal is to isolate x cubed plus y cubed. So x cubed plus y cubed can be written as x plus y quantity cubed minus 3xy x plus y. Great. So this was the identity that I was trying to get. And this is really, really helpful if you are solving competition problems or any type of factoring problem in algebra. This identity will be very helpful. Okay, so we have the following system. Let's go ahead and substitute um, what x cubed plus y cubed is, which is z cubed plus 1. So we have z cubed plus 1 on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, I have x plus y quantity cubed, but x plus y can be written as z plus 7. So I can write it as z plus 7 quantity cubed minus 3 times xy, and as you know, xy can be written in terms of z as well, so I can replace it with 7z plus 6, and then x plus y again can be replaced with 
z plus 7. Great. Now we have this equation, which is in a single variable, which is z. Let's go ahead and solve for z. So I'm going to expand the right-hand side. We have a plus b quantity cubed again from binomial theorem. We're going to get z cubed plus 3 times z squared times 7 plus 3 times z times 7 squared plus 7 cubed. And then minus the stuff. Let's go ahead and subtract it here. But let me go ahead and distribute first. 7z squared plus 49z plus 6z plus 42. Let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit. Notice that z cubed cancels out, leaving us with a quadratic equation. Nice. So now we have one on the left hand side. On the right hand side, I'm getting 21z squared. 7 squared is 49. 3 times 49 is 147. So that's going to give me 147z. 7 cubed is 343, if I'm not wrong. And then I'm getting uh, minus 21z squared. Are there any like terms? Yeah, I could probably combine these two so that will save some space. Now I have minus 3 times 7z squared. That's a minus 21z squared. That's awesome because that's going to cancel out the quadratic term as well. So we're going to end up with a linear equation. Who knows? And then uh, 3 times, negative 3 times 55 is going to be negative or minus, whatever you want to call that, uh, 165z. And then finally, 3 times 42 is going to be 126, but that's a negative, so minus 126. Okay, great. Now, this is my expression, and the z squared cancels out which is really cool. I have two like terms. I can add these up and actually subtract. In other words, that is going to be a negative 18z. So 1 equals negative 18z. Now I got to subtract one, uh, 343 minus 126, and that should be 217, right? So that's going to give me a, a positive 217. From here, we should be getting 18z is equal to 216 because I'm going to add 18z and then subtract 1 from both sides. Great. 216 is 2 times 108 and it's divisible by 9. So I think this we could we could simplify this. So I'm going to do the following. 18z is 108, which is 54 times 2 times 2. 54. Oh, 18 goes into 54. Awesome. This is nice. And that's going to be 3 times 2 times 2. That means z is equal to 12. Awesome. Since everything depends on z, we could just go ahead and find the x and y values from here, right? So z is equal to 12. Let's go back to our original problem. Uh, if z is equal to 12, we could pretty much get everything from here because we have x plus y. Actually, the best thing we can do is probably using the equations x plus y and xy. So we had that x plus y is z plus 7, this means that x plus y can be written as 19. And then xy was also uh, xy was also given as, um, in terms of z, which was 7z plus 6, right? I think it was 7z plus 6, yep. So we got xy in terms of z. So let's go ahead and use this as well. Z, if z is equal to 12, 7 times 12 is equal to 84. 84 plus 6 is equal to 90. So we're, we're kind of looking for two numbers whose product is 90 and whose sum is 19. So it's kind of like this. If you make it an equation like u squared minus 19u plus 90 equals 0. u basically represents x and y, and x and y are completely interchangeable. This means that this can be written as u minus 9 times u minus 10. And from here, u is either 9 or 10, which means x can be 9, y can be 10, or x can be 10, and y can be 9. Now, so x and y are interchangeable because if you look at kind of like the symmetry in the equation, they are interchangeable, but we can't say the same thing for z. z has a fixed value. That's why this equation or system is more interesting, interesting than the others because they're not completely interchangeable. All right, so our values are then, since z is equal to 12, if x is 9 and y is 10, then z is going to be 12, or we're going to have x is 10, y is 9, and z is, again, 12. And that is going to be our solution set. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care.
and bye bye.